Oh, no, it didn't matter. I don't think. Nice. Jeez. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Got this one. 
one then. Uh, yeah. Get plus one. Yeah. I, I wasn't sure if it were timid or not, so. Yeah. And then. Yeah, I on board, so. Good game. the fake out option to slow down any uh, potential uh, tricks coming out of Abraham's side. So a turn one switch out right into Tapu Fini, hopefully trying to predict the Draco going into it like it did last game. He predicted the Draco, but in the wrong slot. Let's see if his Landers is going to be able to take it. Okay, with 16 health left, it's going to be able to get that U-turn off and do enough return damage to maybe put it in range for a uh, another just strong neutral attack on it. All right, Incineroar is out, so he has the fake out option this turn or this coming turn, to um, to maybe try to scout out a little bit more of what Justin's plan is. And we see the Tailwind come across, so Justin is now fast enough to outspeed his opponent's field for three turns now. So we're more likely to go ahead and see the fake out option here to be utilized. might come down to whether or not Tapufini can survive a hit from that Kartana. Alright, we see the option to switch out the Fini back into Latius. A little bit of a defensive switch there. Alright, and a Flare Blitz coming across, hopefully to Yep, right into that Kartana, and that is knocked out. Alright, so, what would he bring back in? Will he reveal his fourth, or not? 
with that Tailwind, he probably will bring in Hydreigon, which he does. Alright, so Abraham is in a bit of a tight spot here, knowing that he probably has to take two hits here, and maybe switch that Latias back out into Feeny itself. No, back into Landris. Okay. Try trying to stall out that Tailwind timer. Dark Pulse comes across and knocks out the Landorus. Alright. It looks like the uh, Figgy Berry has been procced, so Incineroar is nice and healthy for the time being. Looks like we're going to see Justin's fourth Pokemon. And it is Nihilego. So it looks like no crazy adjustments were made, just the turn. Uh, the lead was changed out. Alright, revealing that the Choice Scarf was indeed on that Hydreigon. Alright. So Feeny comes back in. So there's a. Tailwind is still up here, so. There is, it is a little tricky to to actually try to be on the offensive side for Abraham, so he still has to play a little bit more defensively this turn. Alright, Dark Pulse comes across again with enough chip damage, hopefully for Power Gem to knock it out. Yep, probably expecting to protect from Tapu Fini. Alright, and the muddy water coming across, and... Oh no, a double miss. Alright, so Abraham is in an even more uh, difficult position to work his way out of here. Let's see what if he can do it. With that Choice Scarf knocked off of uh, Hydreigon, he may be able to knock it out before it can get a knockout on Latias. So Mega Latias is back on the field. Alright, calm mining right away, hopefully to take a little bit less damage from both of these special attackers on the field. But Nihilego is at plus one. Alright, the first Dark Pulse comes across and it does about 60%. Uh, and the Hidden Power, the double target, does it... Okay, it survives. Alright, so Feeny's able to knock out the Hydreigon. And now the um, Justin's Raichu has to come back in to hopefully lock the game up for him. Alright, so that fake out uh, pressure that uh, Raichu's putting on the field right now might force a protect out of either Latias or Feeny, but he goes ahead and attacks. Is that enough to knock him out? Yes. Alright, so with just a Tapu Fini left on the field, let's see if Abraham has any other way to work his way out of the situation. And with the Sludge Bomb and the Volt Switch there, it's enough to knock out the Fini. And it looks like Justin's going to win this series 2-0. Well played by both players. Um, you can see